it's time to say goodbye to the snowy peaks and enter into the new sandy area. We had to defeat the gladiator and get one QT wins. So let's see what lies ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and inside this area for the first time. Oh, the dusty tavern. Okay. So here we are inside the new area. We got ourselves five new bosses over here. Of course, some punching bags. We got ourselves a nice set of weights as well as some new barbells. Some new grips, but I still think this is one of the most underused pieces of training. We got ourselves a deep dark merchant, which has some exclusive world 12 items. A new case fortune wheel. And we have the big boss, the unlucky miner. And two new eggs okay so enough to explore today of course some, some other change we will talk about in just a second so how much power do we need for these bad boys so i don't have that much strength like i was mainly grinding the fortune July events and everything else uh so yeah i only have to 1.2 and currently uh but we need actually we, we can already defeat this one right there this is not too bad it's only 3.4 and for the dino rex okay i can actually get that like pretty fast to be honest uh, we got the big boss over here, which requires only 2.3, but it increases by 500 SP every single time we defeat him. So he's going to become really hard to defeat. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and check out the merchant real quick. So we got ourselves the Stone Smasher and Gold Rush, 4,000 strength. Okay, so this thing is going to be really good when Golden Max leveled out. That's going to be really nice. And the Ore Struck, which 150%, which is going to be the best head for now. That is really good. Let's see what's on the wheel. So we got the OP Topaz Dragon Pad, which is uh, one exists, but this is in possession of the admin. So I know that for sure. Because I saw someone uh, running around with this pad, which was uh, interesting. We got this the Miner Strength 4.1k. 165 head as well. And a Lucky Block Epic. Okay, this wheel is actually really good. Very, very nice. I need crystals, which you probably get from this boss. I think I should be able to defeat him once. Okay, it's going to be a long fight fight but i can at least defeat the unlucky miner once so let's go ahead and do that right now and boom there we go one crystal only really holy okay that is gonna be crazy to get a ton of them okay so it's 25 times defeating this guy and you can get one spin on this so I'm pretty sure this pad, which is a 0.08% chance, is still going to be really hard to get. It's good, though, for buying these items right here. So that's actually really nice. Let's quickly do a comparison. So we're going to grab ourselves the barbell. So currently, we are putting 7.8 SX. And then if we go to the Dusty Tavern and then pick up one of these weights, let's see what we're going to get. So if we pick up the biggest barbell right here, 26. Holy, that's like a three times increase. Wow. Okay. That's really good. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's check out the, the small weights. Because sometimes these are actually really good as well. 11. Okay. So, definitely the barbell is going to be king here. Oh, my God. Punching bag 907 QI. Is that even... That's not good. That's actually really bad. And the grips I can test because I don't have grip strength. Right, so, this barbell definitely is really strong. So, definitely going to use that. So, just go ahead and wait, lift this weight and then just grab the barbell. Okay. Some other changes that have happened real quick is going to be massive nerfs for worlds 8, 9, 10, and 11. Bosses in higher worlds now give more experience. Player battles now work again. Multi-spin for spin wheels. And the garden has been moved to world 3 and world 5. Got a redesign. And of course, well, we got ourselves a weekly code, which gives us some free mining crystals. Wow, that's going to be amazing. So we're going to be able to spin this wheel as well today, which is going to be very cool. Um, so let's go ahead and check that out as well. So we now have arrived in the, in the garden. You can see it's now actually its own separate place. It's not connected anymore, which is actually really nice. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So Dino World should be reworked. This definitely was the worst world in the game. Ooh, so now we finally have strength training. We got rid of those stupid punching walls, which didn't work. The pull up bars, which didn't work. Yes, very, very, very good change. As well, the eggs look amazing. It, I definitely redid these as well. Okay, going back to the Dusty Tavern. So what if they added for this? We have six new bosses, which we have seen. 
Two new eggs, which we have seen, a new merch, new wearables, new arms, new spin wheel, and new merch itself. We've not missed anything for today's update. Of course, we still have to do the code for today. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So this code is going to hook you up with a free spin, guys, which is going to be amazing. So if you go to the code section and type in the code Cave Fortune and click verify, you can see you get yourself a three times stat boost for eight hours and 25 of the crystals. We now get 82 as X. That's crazy. I'm definitely going to abuse this amount of boost all right so here we have it guys we get one spin what are we getting i want anything anything but the 12 crystal one like i actually don't want the summer gift even like summer gift is bad op lucky buck is the better of the two but i want a minor strength i want a minor head or if i get real lucky i want the dragon but let's just do this in three two one and let's spin our solo spin for today and we are getting ourselves... No, I get that crystal. Man, it's the worst one as well. So yeah, this world actually is really good. It has everything you want from it. It has a ton of bosses. It has the spin wheel, which everyone really likes. It has a really good merchant with good items in it as well. And of course, the last thing we got to check out for today is these eggs. I have 10 QT wins. We're going to just go ahead and spend them all on some of these bad boys. So of course, the most expensive egg is one on the right. The bandit egg, which holds weak bandit buff bandit. Bandit, the bandit leader mysterious bandit and the bandit dominus of course so uh let's just go ahead we cannot really open up too many but let's just see what we're gonna get so we should go ahead and equip our luck team right now boom and let's just go ahead and hatch these eggs until we're out of money so bandit leader seems to be the staple of what we're getting and we're already out holy that was a lot faster i didn't think it would go that fast but with the luck team you seem to skip over this one and this one right away and just get banded leaders so that's actually really good for opening because then you can just get banded leaders make sure to keep combining them and then just maybe get yourself a mysterious one as well so let's see if we actually get one of them so mysterious no and dominus uh no i didn't get anyone either of course I, i'm not expecting to get one these things are really rare uh, but yeah, it would be cool. So the bandit leader are starting off at 164 million. That's actually pretty good already, I'll be honest. And a huge void is 329. Okay, to be honest, if everything combined, I would give this update a solid 8.5 out of 10. Definitely. I would love, like, that's the only thing that I would love a little bit more transparency on is people know what to expect in the game because i think like it's sometimes hard to know what to grind for because we have a lot of different events in this game and sometimes it's like okay do we have to grind the main game do we have to grind the event do we have to grind the fourth july event you know like it's it's hard to predict a little bit what we have to do and it was the same for this update today that you know you're, you're kind of unprepared because you don't really know what's happening so you're preparing a little bit but not really fully committing and i would have loved to have a lot more strength for this update so uh maybe some more transparency from the devs as well at least to the community or whatever to know like oh guys probably for this week you should be grinding the main game because that is going to be coming out you know of course it's something that's nice to know that there's going to be like an event or anything like that as a surprise it's good but I would say, like, if there's a new world, it gives some time for people to prepare, at least that they uh, should get their power up and their wins up and stuff so they can buy all the stuff they want in the update. Yeah, the last thing I want to do for today, guys, is do a little bit of a giveaway. So, I want to give away a nice little training package. So, of course, for training, we need a few things. We need a VIP game pass. We need double bicep power. And we need an auto clicker. So, I'm going to give away a full package of these. These three things to you guys at home. So if you guys want to get yourself this training package, what you have to do is going to be super simple. You have to like this video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, hashtag Dusty together with your Robux username, and that's everything you're going to have to do. Let me know in the comment section down below, what did you get from your own code? Were you super lucky getting yourself a minor head or a minor strength arm or something like that? And I'll be happy to read your comments. So that's going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. Now look at subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another Armrest Simulator video. So guys, take care, love, bye. Thanks so much for watching, and of course, as well, take care, guys.